I talked about modifying the MPT 7210A to quiet it down. It's still set on halfway. It's kind of a hack job. One of those freaking screws broke off. The other one, I'm afraid it'll break off if I turn it anymore, so I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> Happy that it's quiet now. I just started charging this battery about 15 minutes ago. It was sitting at like 36.8. It's coming up pretty quick. And I imagine this will be done here in no time, an hour or so. I can move on to some some e-bike batteries. I'm just going to stitch a couple of videos together here. Show this, quiet it down. And then later today I'm going to take this box out. And I got a reel out there. Taught my son how to set this all up. He's 15. He can operate all this junk now. Pretty good. It didn't take but like 15 minutes to explain it to him. And I had him set up the panels and plug everything in, and turn it on, and show him how to use the controller. So yeah, it's much quieter now. Before I could uh, I could hear this thing 20 feet away. Just whistling and it's annoying as heck. So much quieter now. Now I could probably turn it down to the lowest setting and you wouldn't even barely hear it. I think, personally too, that it's, there's more air actually moving through the case now than before too. It just I can feel so much more air coming out the other end. This pushes air through the box, not pull. It doesn't pull air through the box. So... That. Okay, I'll play with you in a minute. Let me make this little video real quick, B Rose. <laughs> use, use a silly stink. Give me that. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> all right. So I've uh, got this all set up. Uh, solar panels. Uh, I got the reel there with all the ex excess cord reeled up. Plugged it right into the box. Oh, it's gonna be really hard to see the box out here. I can't even get it to focus really. I can't see that on the screen at all really. Oh, there we go. All right, so that's that's program zero. I'm going to have to change it to charge the e-bike here and get the cable out. So I do have the 36 volt battery in here. I finished topping that off this morning. That's how this works. You can see there's no magic involved. The wire goes right out the back of the box into the controller. <clears throat> I don't think anybody thinks there's any magic really but just in case there's anybody thinks I'm trying to pull a fast one here. Alright, I'm trying to put this together with one hand. How that goes. <laughs> Can I do it? Probably not. These are a pain in the ass already. Okay, got it one handed. Charge port over there. This baby plugged in. Into the box. Comes right back out. Solar in. I changed the program on this. It's set for the internal battery. One. Okay. see a piece. Yeah, I don't know how it's gonna show up. I can't barely see it on my phone. It's pretty bright out here today. Alright, so I got it hooked up. And I'm gonna go ahead and start her up for a charge. We'll see where we're at. I'll probably just have to call this off to you. And unlock it. 57 volts, 5 amps max. I 
Yeah, I was like looking at the number on that thing going, what the heck? It says like 44 volts. 40 volts when it started off <laughs> on a 52 volt battery. How can that be? So it's, yeah, it just took a second for it to read it. It's at 54 volts. It's pretty bright out here. Watt amps are coming up. It's right at 2 amps now. 120. Yeah, you probably can't see none of that out here in the light. But I'm pushing up on 3 amps now. 160 watts. Yeah, so I got my e-bike charging right off the sun basically. I mean it does go through the boost solar controller but then it goes right from there to the battery so you don't need a battery bank you don't need an inverter you don't even need the the charger that came with your e-bike all you need is the same plug and the voltage so that's all it takes and once this thing gets close to the end of whatever you ask it to do it goes into constant voltage instead of constant current it slows way down at the end of the charging cycle so it's not going to cook your battery so i've been testing this thing for like a week now off and on running the batteries down and recharging them and uh, it seems to work really well uh, and these panels are pretty big so as far as portability goes they're 51 pounds for the panels five to five pounds for the reel and the 30 foot of cable i got and the box with the 36 volt battery in it uh, and everything mounted on it weighs 25 pounds. So it's about 80 pounds of stuff. Uh, you could go with two smaller panels for sure. Or just get the flexible panels and maybe make your own frames for them or whatever. Some way to maybe attach them together and make them more secure so you could lock them up. But yeah, so I'm topping off that bike now. And I topped off that battery this morning in a couple hours. It was 36.8 volts and I charged it up to 42 and a half volts in two hours off these two solar panels. And I imagine this bike will t probably take a couple hours to top it off. And then I could probably pull my wife's bike out here, plug her in and top her off in a couple hours too, I bet. It's not very hot out here. It's a nice sunny bright day, but yeah, I live up so Canada's right over there. <laughs> so it's pretty cool right now. It's only like 73 degrees out today. That's gonna be the the high. So yeah, there it is, charging up. Solar e-bike. Alright, so I'm back already here a little while later. And less than an hour and it's already it's already saying it's done <laughs> see if I can block out all the light and make it so that it can be seen like right like that my fat head See, it's going into constant voltage. I could let it run a little while longer and it will completely top it off. And that's what I'm going to do. 235 watts. I'm liking that. Yeah, this thing is kicking butt. Yeah. I've, I've rode this bike all over town recently too without charging it. And it's only taken like 30 minutes. Did a bunch of errands and went to the drugstore and got picked up stuff from the drugstore. <laughs> Took no time at all to charge it. My wife's been commuting back and forth on, on her bike. Uh, she probably got about three days of commuting on it. I think I'm gonna bring that on out here. All right, so I got the wife's bike out now. And I'm going to go ahead and just repeat the process. Got the cord already ready. Charging ports on the side of the dot on the cradle. Same program. 
I'm only taking these up to 57 volts now because it's just better on the batteries. So like we don't immediately discharge them, they're really only like 80 80 percent charged, They're not completely filled. Just start the same program. Yeah, I started off at 54 volts. This one's down to 51, 52 volts. Get close of it. take a couple few hours or at least an hour or two <laughs> I don't know it's gonna when I came out here earlier it was doing five it was nailed on five amps and 230 watts it's cooking along pretty good so here I got so here in a couple hours I'll Topped off three batteries today. A 36 volt battery and two 52 volt batteries in probably about five or six hours. None of them were terribly deep discharged, but eh, halfway or so. so. Solar charging the e bikes. It's cleared up quite a bit now. There's not as many clouds, a few little tiny clouds. Getting good sun on the panels. All right, B Rose. <laughs> Go get it. You're supposed to bring it to me, not drop it, silly. <laughs>